It's four in the morning. Why are you coming in so late? I know this is our first time talking, but I don't care. Look, I know we made a silent agreement when we met here that we wouldn't be talking to each other. Hell, we haven't even introduced ourselves. But I'm not the sociable type, and you seem to not be that type either. So, I left it as that. But if you're going to go against the rules of the school, then I have no other choice but to report you. Oh, now you're afraid. <laughs> Look, if you do not tell me where you were at 4 a.m., I will tell the professors. Why do I want to know? Uh, I will not be sharing rooms with a delinquent. I know that I'm an incubus and we've got a pretty stained reputation. But I won't tolerate responsible students. Why not not all of us incubus have to be like oh come here want to suck you off. While we do get our food, if you will, from other people's life essence, I've got my ways. You don't need to dwell upon that. What's important, it's that I am not a delinquent between us. I have not caused any trouble since I came to the school, and it's only been two days, you know that? In those two days, I've seen you at the same hour, same time, going out of the room. What were you doing at 4 a.m.? Don't try to play with me. I know that you're a practicing mage, but that doesn't make you an innocent human that just managed to fall to hell. Look, this institute might be on hell, but this is not the zone of dead souls. You're not a dead soul. You came here voluntarily in order to study. What? What are you doing at 4 a.m. outside in the library? Of, of course I know that you went to the library. I had no other choice but to follow you. Did I enter the library? No. No one's that mad but you. Apparently, you didn't read the papers that they give newcomers that come to the school. Now did you? Of course you didn't. So, I'm in my right to report you to the professors. Well, I have even more right now. Now that you didn't admit to your felonies, Okay, let's delve into the specifics. What were you doing there? Answer. Oh. Wait, what? Why were you trying to study at 4 a.m.? I mean, I know that you're a practicing mage, but 
who have enough with the lessons that they already teach us in in the mornings. You know that? You wanted to learn more in order to be like the other students? Oh god. <sighs> See, if I know that I was going to be paired with a loser, I would have objected. Why am I calling you a loser? Well, see, I know that you are surrounded by different creatures in here. But each one of us, first of all, follow the rules. And second of all, we all have our flaws. No one is flawless. Not even immortals like us. If your flaws are regarding your studies as a practicing mage, then you will learn them eventually in your years at Hell's Gate, okay? But otherwise, do not make me go and report you. Also, I'm pretty sure you did not exclusively go to study. Now, did you? Somehow, you're still alive. You do know what happens when you open one of those books late at night, right? What did you do? I'm not leaving to bed until I find an answer. Oh, you made a pact? What? That was... That was quick. <laughs> uh, with... Oh, oh. No. Please. For the love of Satan, tell me you did not make a pact with fucking Elias. <sighs> You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. I should go and I should report you to the professors right now. Why would you do that? Why? You, you just meet someone new and you give them your endless trust and just go straight ahead and form a pact with them. That is not how it works. That is not how it works. You're a practicing mage, which means you should have a master even before coming down here. And that master didn't care to inform you about the dangers of just going to strange spirits and making a pact. Hell, it is even dangerous to talk to me right now. I could be absorbing your life energy as we speak. You know that? But... No! We, we do not... Okay, listen here. Our most quick live absorption method 
it's usually with uh, coitus, but I am not interested in that. I'm saving myself for someone special. I have standards. Not like my other peeps. <sighs> Whatever. You already made the pact. There's nothing else I can do. And with Elias, for God's sake. Ugh, well, that fucking ghost doesn't give me a rest. Look, just do not summon him into this room. He cannot leave the library unless someone else calls his name. That someone else, of course, needs to be packed to him. But that is not the case. Now is it? I know. So. <sighs> Do you know what he did to the last mage? That dared to make a pact with him? He got them lost into the library, which is pretty big, as you've seen. And now there, a book. A book. You heard well. They are a book. They are locked up, of course until someone, somehow, can bring them back to their last form, but yeah, for now they're just an old flesh book saved into the archives. So yeah, good luck with that, at least that's your problem. Not mine. Well, let's make a deal. I want to enhance my powers as I'm a relatively young incubus. But I, as, as you've seen, I don't like talking to people. I don't like social interactions. I barely go out of my room. I have everything I need in my phone or that's what I thought apparently there are not good incubi lessons in the internet I want to be as prepared for classes as you want to but I would need someone to speak for me in the library once we are going to retire our books if that could be you, I would be glad. Cool. I would say, oh, I don't know how to pay you back. But this is not a payback situation. I'm already doing plenty by not telling the professors what you did. You know, breaking a pact is pretty difficult. Please, do not tell me that he was just like, Oh, but we will be friends. I, I feel a connection. That's what he tells everyone. That's what he tells everyone. How do I know? I think we should go to bed. I think we should go to bed. No, don't call him. <sighs> uh.
Uh, I went into the library late at night to <sighs> it's hard to admit past sins even if you're a demon okay I'm not like that anymore I mean I've been in the institute for almost all my life you just came in and managed to score a grade that put you in my grade. So, I know a thing or two about adventures at dark inside the school. Uh, sit. Sit and don't look at me. Okay. I... I went to the library because... Uh, some people that I thought were my friends just wanted to make a prank and I thought I'd join. Back then I didn't really follow the rules. I was as scarefree as any other incubi. But once we got in everyone got separated. I just that moment is blurry in my head. I, I can just remember his fucking laugh that just makes my blood boil. Look, if you're gonna be any good, get rid of the fucking ghost. If you have a pact, you have power over him. And you can throw him into the trash that he deserves to be in. He, I, I, I barely could escape that night, you know? If... If it wasn't because of just mere luck, I would have been trapped as trapped as the friends that I went in with. They became so obsessed, so crazy with going out after what just seemed like a couple of hours that they were even trying to sacrifice me. It was an awful Awful sight. But... I mean, I'm glad at least I came alive. I know that maybe it's not their fault that they reacted like that. But frankly, I, I try not to think about it anymore. I don't even know if they got out or not. Probably not, knowing that fucking ghost, but... But yeah. Now I'll ask you for a favor. No word about this. Okay? If I know that you spoke about this with someone else, I swear. I'm just trying to warn you. I'm just trying to tell you what dangers have you gotten into? <sighs> now, well, if you excuse me, I'll go back to sleep. I don't have time for this. I'm sorry.
Huh? My name? Well, I suppose that if we're going to be roommates, might as well address ourselves. By a name, at least. My name's Magnus. Nice to meet you. I guess. Oh well, I hope that... Nah, never mind. You're... You'll just do what I say. Or else I'll tell. Okay? Now go to bed. You don't want to make me mad. At least... Not more than I am already. Well... Good night.